What's up, peeps? Do you guys want to know what the fastest way of getting gold snipers and platinum snipers is? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going to every single challenge for all the snipers and telling you guys the easiest way to get them. Let's jump right into this video. And as well, special shout out to my newest members who give me a huge extra support to the channel. And you can become one for as low as 99 cents a month. Link is in the description. So we're going to be starting off with the first one of the MSPR 300. We're going to go right here and then go into the challenges, which again, I can see all the challenges. Now, the first one for every single gun and every single sniper is going to be the same, which is get 50 kills. I suggest you if you're good at quick scoping, obviously going to quick play. But if you're not going into ground war, it's definitely going to be the easiest one to get the 50 kills in this game. Mostly because most of the long range, most of the gunfights are going to be a little bit long range now for the next one we got get two kills within 10 seconds of each other 10 times now this one you can do it two different ways if you are playing ground war what i would suggest is go into either the enemy spawn or where the enemy objective is and from here you try to get into a spot where it is obviously a little bit campy and you really just try to hope that you find two people obviously that's what i'm saying go to where the enemy spawn is or where an enemy objective is you want to go to the a place where there's a chance that multiple people are spawning at the same time now, if you want to play quick play, it is also doable and quickly, but just do be advised. Again, it's, these snipers are really not meant for quick scoping. So I would suggest you holding down a line of sights, like maybe going to hard point and then playing the hard point and holding a long angle to try and get those 10 kills, the, the two kills. And again, always keep that counter in your mind. So for example, whenever you get the first kill, get that first kill and be like, all right, one, two, three, four, and again, keep counting that in your mind so you know when you need to get the next kill. And don't be super aggressive. Like, 10 kills is quite a bit of time, right? So you don't need to get the first kill and start running around like a headless chicken, all right? Get the first kill, take your time. If it didn't happen, it didn't happen. Next one, we also got the get 30 kills while pro. Now, again, you can also do this one in ground war. Again, set up in a position where the enemies are spawning or, again, in an enemy objective flag. But I did find this a lot easier in quick play. Uh, just because sometimes ground war, you can't always prone into a spot where you can have a full visibility. So I did find the best place to be in is in quick play. And obviously, just go either to like the middle of the map or the middle lane where a lot of people are crossing. And uh, you honestly, you just have to do that. You have to lay, lay down flat on the ground, aim through your scope, and you will definitely get the kills. But again, you just have to be a little bit patient with this one. Now, I'm glad that the only this gun had this challenge, which is get 10 hit fire kills with the MSPR 300. Now, I did try to go into third person mode because a lot of people were saying it was a lot easier but it didn't really help out that much for me the easiest way to get this one is go into your class setup and then set up a what you're going to do is set up a stun grenade and you're going to go into quick play and really just play in a little bit of a toxic way you're really going to be going to you want to know where the enemies are spawning try to hide in a corner before they actually come at you hide in that corner when some dude comes by you throw a stun towards them run up to them and, sh and and hit fire them i mean that's really the best way the other way is just really running around like a headless chicken with no scoping people until you get the shot but if you really really want to get those secure kills go into quick play hide in the corner when you hear somebody pass throw that stun or throw that flash go up to them and hit the hit fire that's i mean that's the easiest way and now the gold and the platinum is going to be the same for every single one of them. So I'm going to go over them right now. But it is get three kills without dying ten times. The easiest one is it definitely is going to be in ground war. Quick play, a lot of things can happen. Spawns can switch and you can die. So ground war is always going to be the best spot. Uh, find a spot, obviously, where you can camp and get those snipes down on people. And if they start shooting or anything like that, make sure that you can go back replenish your health and stuff like that because again quick play is going to be a little bit harder just because a lot more thing can happen and as well for the get 20 long shot kills again the best one's still going to be in ground war now the best map in ground war if you really want to back out of the maps and play until the best one the best one's going to be called saeed which is the smaller of the ground war maps that has that big line through the middle and a bunch of buildings on the side that is going to be the best one for this one as you can definitely go on top of the buildings and get a bunch of long shot and get your three shot kills so if you really want to do the best way if you don't get that map then back out sorry and another really good one for ground war is also going to be tarak which is that big open deserty field map and you can definitely get those long shot medals there that one is going to be a really good map for that and that is the first sniper now let's move on to the next sniper which is the signal 50 and now all these challenges are pretty self-explanatory get 50 kills i've already explained that one two kills within 10 seconds already explained that one as well 30 kills while prone again it's the same one as the other one and then the final one is going to get the 25 one shot kills you can definitely do this in ground war but just to make sure you can play quick play as you are a lot likelier to get those one shot one kills because in quick play the maps are obviously a lot shorter so you will most likely get those one shot one kills 
And after that, again, both of these other challenges are going to be exactly the same. So let's move on to the next gun, which is going to be the LAB 330. Now for these ones, we got to get 50 kills already explained. This challenge is going to be exactly the same. 25 one shot, one kills. Again, exactly the same going to quick play. And then for the last one, we got get 50 kills with a suppressor. Now for this one, I definitely do recommend going into ground war as suppressors make your snipers and your guns in general a lot slower. So you're really not going to be quick scoping anybody in this in the quick play. Again, if you want to do play quick play, you're going to have to go to the back of the map hold the line aside and but again it going into ground war is going to be a lot easier and again gold and platinum are going to be the same challenge now let's move on to the next sniper and the last one which is going to be the spx 80 now the first one's going to be the same get 50 kills and next up we got the same uh, a different one actually which is get 20 kills while mounted now this one the easiest way was definitely in a quick play and what you want to do is you want to bring a mounted shield with you a deployable shield with you so you can deploy in the middle of a map or a place that's got a good line of sight over an objective deploy that shield and go and then go ahead and mount on that thing obviously you can do this with any other gun if you have a mounted kill to bring a deployable shield it will make it a lot easier and this one is a little bit harder to complete in ground war so i did find that quick play was the easiest one next up you got the 25 one shot and again you can go into quick play to be a lot easier or into ground war again both will be the same and then for the last one you got again get 50 kills using a suppressor so i would definitely recommend going into ground war for this one and then the last one's going to be get three kills without dying and get 25 long shots exactly the same. And ladies and gentlemen, I've covered every single one of these. Um, again, a lot of them are super repetitive. You only get a couple different ones like the mounted and the prone kills, but a lot of them are just getting kills. So if you guys have any question over any of these challenges, let me know down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Peace out, everybody. I'll see you all in the next one.